Yeah. So, so give me the story on how Fortres joined the Crips. Oh, what happened is you had a home where it's dead now called OG Greg. You had some Crips come down. I think it was Tim and somebody else. They came down, and they fired on OG Greg. OG Greg ran off and came back with about 40, 50 some homeboys. And when, and, and, and when they get there, they come back deep and they realize these homies are Crips. They're like, "What well, damn, y'all should be Crips, whatever." So then the homies can't establish it right there and there. They was East Side Crips, but they wasn't even like two or three minutes went by, and Bob Louis said, "Shit." Since we kicking on 43rd, why not call it East Side Folk Trade Crip, Folk Trade East Side Crip? And the homies ran with it. The first street number gang in LA. First. For the dime moves in the lokes, for the six foes on spokes, for the OGs that did a dime, came back around on parole, for the homegirls with the scrap game, little homies that gang bang, from Pelican Bay to YA, rearrange your mind frame, yeah I know what you been through, shit you had to go tend to, your mama gave birth on the turf, I know them killers you kin to, this for the lost generation, broke as hell mad and impatient, but if you know your history, you can't have a strong foundation baby. Did they ever tell you any stories about fighting the Brams early on? Oh man, all my homies' stories. This was what you gotta understand though too. <clears throat> when you talk to OG Four Trades, a lot of their stories would be about fighting Brams, families, and hanging in Compton in the Grandees. All that's what I'm saying. Dudes need to turn back their time and find their history because Four Trade East Side and Grandees got an old history. Because, man, my homeboy Squeeble, all he talk about is the grandees and Compton. You know what I'm saying? Squeeble probably doing this 70 years old. All he talk about is the grandees and Compton. You know, I, look, look, I don't, I'm not trying to add no controversy to this, but I've seen some of my OG homeboys arguing when they say, it was east side, west side, and Compton. Some of them would be like, no, nah, man, it was east side, Compton, west. They will argue that. Now, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't heard them argue that because I don't know. But I know that folk Trey east side the first street and them a gang in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> that I do know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then like uh, the homie uh, Chico and Lil Mike and them came down there and breathed life in the photo. My own way, Chico and them, they was original Nutty, nutty Block Crips. You know, Chico and Lil Mike, they both rest in peace now. You mentioned the twins. Are they founders of Fodos too? They, yeah, you can call them founders because they've been over there forever. You know what I'm saying? They've been over there forever. Terry and Jerry now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my own matter of fact, I think they yeah, they live somewhere in the 702. How old is your homie Bobby Louie? Bobby Louie. Bobby Louie would be, God will, he'd be 72 this year. Mm -hmm. OG homie. Yeah, love him to death. He, he been I used to sit up there and ask him a million questions because I wanted to know. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was a kid about the Avalon thing, I remember I'm, I'm talking to uh, OG Vip from Fire Trade, and we talking about the Avalon thing. And then uh, I'm like, the Vic was like, uh, the homie Bob Louie said, nah, we are not the original Avalon. We the first original Crips to run up and down Avalon. You know what I'm saying? You know, Avalon was their own set. This is what I'm saying. You say that, go I'm not speaking about the Gordon. I'm talking about the original Avalon Crips that's down my way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, those, those folk trade east side that was like I said when they formed that, you had two different sets. You had some individuals come together to agree upon that. It wasn't all the folk trade east side that went with that, and it wasn't all the east side outlines that went with that. You know. When you was coming up, was it any businessmen north of South Park? I'm pretty sure it was, but the mainly the ones I know used to hang out in South Park because we used to be up in South Park. Uh, with like the Avalons a lot of times, they were able to be in there doing their own thing. I really didn't really focus on all that stuff doing that area, like the Sauce and the Rebel Rise or Gladiators. I, you know, that wasn't, that, that was way before my time. But I do know for sure that the Outlaws has been around a million years on the east side. Tell me what's behind the beef for Fortre and Grapes in the 80s? Well, something that took place with one of the homeboys, uh, family members, that led to that. I was incarcerated when when that thing went down. 
You know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't around. I mean, on the street when that took place, I was in the crib module. Actually, that was what I was mentioned earlier when Petey Wack and Paul Strawley pulled me in the cell and uh, he said, hey, we found out it was your home, boys. We ain't tripping off you and your brother. But if any of your homies come in here for that specific thing, that they're going to have to see the grapevine. Like, you know, the crippling is what it is. Who were some of the dudes from other hoods you came up with or jailed with? Like eight, seven, nine, seven gangsters? And oh, man. Drag, Raybone from nine, seven. Nelson Calise from Lonely Boy from nine, seven. Uh, Shit, Kadol from A7, uh, 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 Ragtime from A7, Demon, Ace from A7, uh, the homie Cricket now from A7, even the homie Termite, still love you, homie. You know we had to disagree, we still the homie. Uh, uh, shit, quite a few. Those always been the homies from the time they existence. You know what I'm saying? That's why you, alliances and and homeboys is very important, even, you know, when shit go down. You gotta, you know, stick firm to, to who, who you, you know, you, you crip with. You yeah. know, you don't just turn your back on the homies because you have a, a bullshit altercation about something. Did folks try to get along with any Long Beach guys? I would say yes, because we never really had a beef with Long Beach. We had something that went down some years ago at the little, uh, at a concert out there. You know, you go out there, you was fighting the whole Long Beach car. You know what I'm saying? You was going up about eight against 800 dudes. You know what I'm saying? You may have like 35 full trades against a thousand motherfuckers. But it went, that's how the Long Beach function back then. You come in there, but at the time, you still had the Long Beach and 20s that, that was that was together. So, you know, you had you had, you had had something to go up against. Y'all so, cool with Raymond's? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, no. who, uh, like I say, uh, Low down, love the homie Baby T from Ten Dudes, mm. Vim Bone, mm. uh, 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 Bardall, rest in peace. Uh, damn, T. Uh, man, I know so many no damn dudes. Yeah, yeah, the homies is cool. <laughs> eight, eight, eight ounce now, the other eight ounces. Uh, kind of short, stocky one. I think it was two brothers and the big eight ounce with the with the freckles from Ten Dudes. Uh, the homegirl Smiley, eight ball. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, there was homies. Uh, Big Blue from, from, from 120. Yeah, those are the homies. You run across any homies from the hundreds? From 111, 11, 5. Oh, and why? I was up there with Tone Wolf. What's the other homeboy? Rest in peace, got killed. He was real down. Uh, damn. Black yeah, I ran into uh, uh, Big Mondo in the Crip module. Lil Mondo on my way to the feds. Uh, What's the homie name? Rest in peace, man. Black dog? No, it's not black dog. I was up there even in the crib march with 2v2 from 111. Uh, damn, cuz, it's gonna come to me. I gotta remember cuz, man. I had to I had to go look out for him in Riverside one time because some dudes they tried to jump on him from out that way. You know what I'm saying? By me being in LA crib, I feel out gave to come. It's just cuz, uh, it'll come back to me because I sure hate I forget that, man. Not wimp. No, it, it ain't grim cuz it's cuz it's best enough, man. Damn. It'll come back to me. Mm -hmm. Kinda light skinned stocky dummy. He was he was one left, straight one left. Yeah. What about uh UG, Watergate? Oh yeah, yeah. I have family from Watergate. Yeah, but the homie Cole Cap from Watergate, my homie Maniac from Watergate, Pee Wee from Watergate, Smiley from Watergate, uh my cousin Ron, them, my cousin, she didn't original Water Gates. Uh, yeah. Gardena Crip, Shotgun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monster from Shotgun, Sid from Shotgun, both from Shotgun, Bird. Hey, I, I remember yesterday, the uh, uh, Bird then was down there with the ETG. They was getting some uh, weed down there in my neighborhood to put up on Bird. That's the last time I seen the homeboy Bird there. Yep. Hmm. Yep, that's the homeboy. Uh, damn, what's cuz name? Who were some of the West Side producers off of Broadway? You remember any of them names? Yeah, I should fuck with the one Sandman real tough. The big one. Now, you got to think, the West Side Photos neighborhood is the original part of Faux Trey Hood. I always was trying to grab those dudes to turn Faux Trey because that's the original part of our hood. But by the homies really hanging across San Pedro, you know, 
So a lot of that we just lost to those dudes because we wasn't hanging over there. Then a lot of them that lived over there end up, you know, turning fire deuce, you know, mm -hmm. fire deuce Broadway. What was your relationship with the forties when y'all fell out with the homies? Did did that affect your friendship? Us in the forties? Yeah. Hell to the now. Man, we've been friends with the forties since they forty nine uh hustler day. Especially the dark side. No, we love them. Smurf, D, uh, low down, nah, nah, those the homies, cuz. The dark side forties. Nah, those are my little dudes. Mm -hmm. I remember leaving one of them, man, the dudes jumped out the dome dude after I hit the corner. I didn't even hit the shots cause I got my music up, man. Nah, the dark side is the homies, cuz. Smurf all up. Mm. Yeah, I mean it ain't we don't hang like we used to. I don't know, you know, time changes stuff. A lot of homies don't hang on the Broadway side no more. So you know, yeah, those, yeah. those homies we've been friends with those dudes since they hustling the days, you know. What about the Crips and Carson, like the one nine O's? Oh man, uh, see the all rest in peace, my homie Loco, Bruce Millsap, uh, Big Bull, uh, Twin Criminal guy. Yeah, the one nine O's with the business. Yeah, those homies, cuz yeah. Like my brother, big brother in San Diego, say those the coast has always been our homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Those are homies. Yeah, we got we got history with the Del De Lama blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Tell me a little bit more about y'all long-standing relationship with the Venice Shorelines. You remember who was coming over to the folks? Blue rooms? Cisco. A lot of older cats, man. Ace Capone, Capone. Yeah, a lot of them do. We always got along the show line. I, I think my home with Bird Train, but even before the Bird Train, they, they all, they, 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 the homies fuck with. You know, Crippin was different back then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, look, you was telling a story last night about Pretty Boy's funeral where you was with a couple homies and you felt safe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my car, you know, the, the battery had went out of my car. So so Peanut had to shoot somewhere, to, somewhere else to go get the thing to open up the thing, you know, to jump my car. So I'm left out there, Crip crazy, to me, hey, Simon, what you doing? Come over here. Because I'm still by the funeral home. But then he is walking over there, me, like, walking. I, had, I Hey, listen, man. I, he said, you straight? I said, cuz, you ain't got to tell me I know I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? With the, I know the old dudes like my little brother. I, I, you know, just like, same thing with me. I'm not going to let nobody disrespect or hurt none of them if they with me. We're going to go out together. See, that's a different our timeline, homie. We took that love and friendship real, cuz. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't do that type of shit. Like Mike Madbone, me and cousin in another city, I felt secure and safe for Big Madbone, BTG. I ain't got to worry about nobody. I got Madbone right here with me. You know what I'm saying? Cuz gonna go out with me. Yeah. That's, you know, I, don't, I, I love the homies, cuz. And I hate to see what I'm seeing now, homie. I'm like, damn, cuz. You know, the older homeboys in my age bracket and older, we got to sacrifice now to save these dudes' lives, homie, because we see the destruction. You know, it's good that we learn certain tactics, but then you got to think what it did to our community. Look at it around, homie. We out number probably 13 to 1. You know what I'm saying? They just took this down Planned Parenthood. Man, that's the worst thing ever happened to the homies. The Crips in that Planned Parenthood. Killing us off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The homies got to snap back. And the homies need to pay attention to what's going on in Chicago and L.A. These little tactics they put down to move us about these communities, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like I said at the funeral, cuz, I remember having a discussion with a homie, I'm not going to mention his name, back in the days about this, cuz. <clears throat> now, back in the days in Las Vegas, they used to pay $1 million a day to the white company. Back in the days in Las Vegas, they used to lose approximately two and a million, two and a half million dollars a day in Las Vegas, between all the casinos. Between all the casinos, they paid a million dollars a day to the white company. Between all the casinos in Las Vegas, they grow in a billion dollars. Now listen to this. Now here you have these blacks in Venice that bought this stuff up back in the 50s, 60s or whatever, that bought all this property. And here you got these folks want to, you know, because it was considered like some wasteland or something. But now here you got these people want to build casinos along this Venice show line. You know what I'm saying? They want to tax 50% on the dollar. You know what I'm saying? Then they want to turn back these Jim Crow laws and start incarcerating our ass. This is what they want to do. Now, you know, once they get those casino built, they're going to tax 50% on the dollar because it's not reservation. It's not Indian land. You know what I'm saying? Then they're going to have the money to do all this funding and get us up out of here. This is why they want that community back over there. Homie. So dudes got to wake up, man. It ain't the war on drugs no more. It's the, it's the war on our community. They job now is to dismantle and disperse all inner city gangs by any means necessary. 
Hey, you you watching Kale Mac videos? Life and story of Sinbad from Bo Trey Eastside. Stay tuned for part two, part three, whatever part he come with. <laughs>